Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to change your background on your Xbox One. So this is very simple and straightforward process. All you need to do is press your home button, tab all the way using RB to system, go down to settings. And then once you're in settings, you need to go to the personalization tab. And there you go to my color and background. So once you're there, there's four options to change your background and one to remove it. So the first one is solid color and game art. So if you click on this one, you can see there's several different colors you can choose from. So if I choose this blue, for example, I choose blue and then I go to my home screen. It changes this area where you see your pins and all those things to dark blue, but your main background usually remains whatever game you've last played. Okay, so let's check out the other options. So the other options are achievement art and custom image. So if I click on achievement art, you can see they give us several different games. So you can click any of these games and choose the art you get from each achievement. For example, if I click on Forza Horizon 4, it shows all the achievements I've got and the pictures that come with those achievements. So some games have really nice pictures that comes with achievements. So for example, if I choose this image, then I just have to go down to set as background. And it is now set as my background. So if I go to my home screen, that achievement art is now my background. So if you have some really nice achieve, if you have some games that have really sick achievement arts, you can set those as your background as well. So now let's go back to settings, personalization, my color and background. And the next one is a custom image. So this is basically, you can choose any image from Google, put it on a USB, put it in your Xbox and set that as your background. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now. All right, so to make a custom background, all you need to do is first choose an image. So just go to Google and choose any image you want. For the case of purpose of this video, I'm just gonna make a PlayStation background. And then go to images. And then find the image you want right there. Right click, save image as, it's right there. And save it as the default. And then once you do that, all you need to do is insert a USB. All you need to do is insert a USB. Okay, so once I do that, I just need to take the image from where it was. And, the, and an easy way to do this is go to downloads and then search date modified colon. And then a today option will come. Just click on that. And then you have your image. Right click send to and then the USB I already downloaded this and to test it out that's why it's saying it's already exists all right so now that it's in my USB all I need to do is put this USB into my Xbox and then we should be good okay so I just inserted it into my Xbox as you can see now all you need to do is click on custom image then it's gonna open media player then you can choose your USB and once you're in there it shows the image that you just downloaded onto it which is the PS4 background then just click on it and then click the options button which is the button with the three lines to the right and then go all the way to set as background and then go to, go to the home screen and as you can see, it's that simple. You can change your Xbox background to whatever image you want, which you can download from the internet. Now, the last option for changing your background, go back to settings, my color and background, is a screenshot. So this would be a screenshot you've taken from any game. Just click on that, pre self-explanatory, choose a screenshot, then go down to more actions, set as background success and now if I go to my home screen this is now my background okay so the last option in the background settings is remove custom background so if I remove this and if I go to my home screen it'll just show whatever um, the background of the last game I played so if I just launch battlefield and then go back to the home screen it's going to show the art from Battlefield. Same thing for any game that I launch. 
and it's going to show the art of that game. So if you like that better, you can keep it that way. So these were some ways you can change your wallpaper on your Xbox One. If you liked the video and it was helpful to you, please leave a like. If you have any other questions about how to do stuff on the Xbox, please leave it in the comments down below. And that's it for this video. See you guys in the next one.